mistake that really applies more to George W. Bush to Cheney than it would ever apply to Bush. Uh, thank you. Hello. 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 Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard what's happening in Syria. Oh, yeah. But unfortunately, the, uh, the regime is killing people innocently that are just asking for their freedom. I felt that I was born and raised here in the U.S. And I feel very fortunate that I can say what, how I feel. And unfortunately, just like with that um, new, re uh, you know, the SB 1867, they want to do the same thing here in the U.S. That's right. It's happening overseas. And so we should all say no to that. And uh, we should all speak uh, our mind and, you know, for our freedom of, freedom of speech. Hi, my name is Pamela Sensi, and I'm, 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 thank you. I'm here with uh, architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth. I know that you may have varied opinions or views or understanding about that, but it is an organization of 1,600 architects and engineers, including physicists, scientists, chemists, um, researchers, explosion experts. There are actually thousands and thousands of experts who have researched 9-11 Truth and an international team of eight scientists in this government on their mind in the dust of 9-11. This is published and peer-reviewed. So there's a great deal uh, scientifically to research about this and there's a great body of evidence that these experts are standing by. I don't know if you really realize it, but several years ago, Jane Harmon uh, tried to pass, she sponsored a bill, I think it was called the Homeland Terrorism uh, Homeland Security Terrorism Act. Uh, you can look it up, and an organization called the Simon Wise Hall Center uh, had a, a presenter named Mark Weitzman who gave a presentation about American terrorists, uh, which is what we are talking about today. People, who are presumably, um, people who are aligning themselves with terrorists who are also Americans, and he gave a big presentation. Uh, of pictures of people and organizations and so on and so forth that were considered to be terrorists. And in the middle of that presentation, he inserted the distinguished body of, of experts called architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth. Uh, whether or not you believe in 9-11 Truth or whether or not you abide by that, I don't think that you would support uh, an organization such as this of experts and scientists and professionals who question uh, 9 uh, the 9-11 official story as terrorists. It's, a, it's an abomination that anyone would, uh, would classify or characterize them that way. So this legislation, 1867, is a threat to uh, anyone who opposes the power structure or the official story that the power structure is putting forth. So it's very important for every American and is certainly important for 9-11 Truth. Thank you so much. I'd like to mention uh, two things briefly. Um, a number of us have been allies, have, have been um, Anglo white allies for the for SB 1070, for uh, un, all of the, the undocumented people who are being um, threatened with deportation and torture for the last few years. Um, but now it's us, it's all of us, it's, it's those of us who are Anglo, Caucasian, white, who are under threat with this bill. And I'm hoping, uh, for me and for others, to, it, it has it's occurred to me clearly that this will perhaps increase my understanding, increase my empathy, increase my compassion to the uh, awfulness that undocumented people have been living with for a long time, that now we are under this same real threat so that we can really give that some serious thought and continue to continue helping, continue whatever we can for um, uh, to re get repeal, SB 1070 repealed as we take care of ourselves. And actually, we also request reciprocal assistance from um, undocumented people um, who we, when I'm with um, people at Solus America, I don't know who's documented or undocumented. I never, and it doesn't matter, I never know. So um, it's just, it's a human issue. It's a human civil rights issue. Um, I also want to mention that I know that Occupy Phoenix is talking about this some, and um, it certainly has occurred to me also very strongly that there is a, there is a movement 
to rename Occupy Phoenix to Deoccupy. Yeah. We are on indigenous land, and I would like to say that I would certainly be in favor of that in some way. To recognize that the only way in which we can, we, in which we can combat injustice is by standing here and being verbal and direct and addressing what are the antagonisms that are developing throughout this country. Right now, the mass of working people are being ravaged with unemployment, with deportation, racist incarceration, as well as foreclosures. It is now more than ever necessary for workers to unite, regardless of what nationality you may belong to. For we all belong to one class, and we all have one direct enemy. And that's demonstrated through this bill. This new bill that is targeting working class people who are standing up for their own interests, for their brothers and sisters, who are being subjected to oppression, not only within the United States, but also within the Middle East, as well as in Latin America and Africa. But we cannot forget that the local struggles are interrelated with the international struggles. The struggles of national, national liberation of the Egyptian people, the Libyan people, the Syrian people, the Tunisian people, the Iraqi people, and Afghanistan people. These people are in turn our brothers and sisters because they belong to the same oppressed class. They have no control over the political decisions of their own government. But on the contrary, those who do have control are those that are formulating this very bill that is utilized to attack workers of all color. Attention everyone, don't forget that uh, last night at 4th Avenue Jail, a illegal immigrant and beat him so bad that he is now brain dead and most likely will pass away. We are going to plan on having a march down to the 4th Avenue Jail from Occupy Phoenix and also hopefully go to the hospital where he's at today and have a candlelight vigil for him. God bless you, Jack. Work, work, work.